Hey everyone, it's Lethal Logic X. Welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you how to assemble my 3D printable disk detainer padlock. As a word of caution to begin with, this model is incredibly difficult to print and incredibly difficult to assemble. The tolerances are very tight and you will need some extra tools to assemble it. You will need a pair of tweezers, you'll need a needle file, preferably in this square shape, and you will also need some calipers. The difficulty in printing comes from these discs, trying to get the correct size for them. You're trying to get them to be about 1.6 millimeters thick, give or take about a twentieth of a millimeter. And then the spacers as well, you're trying to get them to be about 0.5 millimeters, give or take a twentieth again. Once you have those discs sized in correctly, you can assemble your core. This is the tedious part that you will need your tweezers for. You need to carefully drop all of the discs in the correct order into the little core piece here and drop a spacer in between each of them. It is a very tedious job to put this core together and you need to put all of the discs in order, matching whatever key you have. I'm not going to do this on camera because it takes forever, so I have another core ready here. Once you have all of your discs in place, you can check with your key and make sure all of the discs line up when you turn your key. This probably won't be the case initially, which again is why you need the needle file. You're going to want to file the, the corners of all of these cuts and kind of take some material away from just the corners. Leave all of the faces alone, but some of the corners end up just a little bit too big, which snag on the discs. After that, you should eventually get all of the gates lined up when you turn the key. And you can put the cap on the back of the core. There is a little cutout in this core, which indexes with the sidebar. And once the sidebar is in place, you'll note that the actuator cap no longer turns. Uh, now we can get the ball bearings in place. So these require a little bit of assembly. The ball bearings and shackle come in two halves and you'll have to glue them together. In my case I'm using ABS plastic and I welded them together using acetone, which makes a really nice finish. So you can drop your ball bearings down into there. Make sure one of them goes in each direction. And you can insert the shackle as well. Insert the sidebar into your core, and it requires a bit of wiggling, but you can get that core into there. You should also note that your core operates properly and it opens correctly. Once it does, you can remove the shackle, put the top cover on, and relock it. And that's it. That is how you build the 3D printable disk detainer padlock. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And don't forget to have a good one.